everyone, Connie Stewart with SimplySimpleStamping.com. Today I'm here to share with you a video teaching you how to convert your wheels into just big border stamps. Now I love the looks of wheels, but sometimes it's just a bit more of a hassle for me to get out the handle and the ink cartridge and go through all that. And I really do like to just use them as big borders. So I'm going to teach you how to convert that so that you can use it with your clear blocks. Well, we're going to begin with a wheel, obviously. Um, any of our wheels are going to work fine for this. The other thing you're going to need is some of our clear mount um, foam that's available from Stampin' Up! And that's what we're going to be using so we can convert these into great stamps. Now, the other thing you are going to need is an X-Acto knife. And this is really a easy technique and it's actually pretty fast. You're going to find the seam of your wheel and then um, very carefully with your X-Acto knife you're just going to kind of cut to kind of loosen that up. Now another thing I like to do before I get going is just kind of go here on the ends, put, get my X-Acto knife underneath. Please be careful, we don't want to cut through the rubber. We're just using that to kind of slide in there and give that just a little bit of lift. I am going to warn you at this point when you've lifted don't try to peel. It can actually just tear the rubber. So just take your X-Acto knife and it's almost better to do like three small cuts than to try to dig all the way through. So just slice one, two, and three. And you're going to tell that you've hit um, one, two and three, you're going to be able to tell that you've hit the um, the plastic of the wheel. So at this point, let's see if I cut all the way through. So as I said, very gently, we're just going to lift. We did great. You notice the glue of the wheel is staying behind, and that's exactly what we want. So toss it. Unless you have some great use for it, I can't think of anything. So there is my actual wheel. I'm going to come in now with the um, foam that we can use on the clear block and I'm going to come back in. I'm just going to lay it on here. I haven't peeled anything away yet. Again with my X-Acto knife we're going to go ahead and give this a cut so I can kind of see what I'm working with. Let's peel this back and this is our sticky side. Nope, I'm sorry, the other side is our sticky side. Well, leave it to Connie to get that wrong. Let's put that back down. Oh, I remember now. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay, so that did, when I cut that on that side, I knew there was a reason I did it that way. <laughs> All right, that kind of made a mark here on the back. And that's what showed me where to cut. Woo! Here we go. Much better. So we can peel that back. And I'm going to take that rubber and I'm just going to lay it right on the sticky side of my foam. And now that I've got that peeled back just the exact same way I have been doing, take that X-Acto knife and cut three times. One, a little bit deeper. Two, a little bit deeper. Three. And I should have cut all the way through. Let's flip it over. I can see there's one little spot here I didn't get, so I'm just going to get it on that side. Terrific. Give that a really good press. Now I can peel off this backing, and this is the piece that's going to work on my blocks. Now one of the complaints I've heard from people is that the um, wheel is longer than the I block. It's true, it is. So I'm going to take the I block and the C block, put them right next to each other, and the trick here is to cover up all of the C block. You're just going to lay that on there, Give that a really good press, and now I have one big, one big block that I can work with. So let's take our soft suede ink. We can ink this up. I can bring in my card base, and this makes it very easy to work with it. So if I want a border now at the bottom of my card, I can get it now without having to use the wheels. And that is my technique for today. I hope that you find that helpful. Now, if you'd like to purchase any of those wheels and create your own border stamps, you can find all the wheels at simplysimplestamping.com. You can find those by clicking on the catalog icon 
you can download that and be able to see all of those. And to order, it's just a click away. There's an online order button. Boom, you can order those wheels and that foam and have um, all of your stamps and wheels converted very quickly and easily. So thanks so much for tuning in to our quick tip for today. I hope you find that helpful, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.